In about two hours, we will find out if a police officer in Ferguson, Missouri, will be charged with shooting an unarmed teenager. Police say Michael Brown died on August 9th after being shot by Officer Darren Wilson. His death sparked weeks of violent protests. Hundreds of officers are mobilized in Ferguson, awaiting tonight's announcement. And the National Guard and FBI are also ready to respond. Now, in Milwaukee, a group is rallying at Red Arrow Park, waiting to hear the decision. 12 News, Nick Four is there live right now. And Kathy, this group had said for weeks that they plan to have a solidarity rally here in Red Arrow Park. Uh, the night that that, or the day that that announcement would come down, they did meet here at five o'clock and uh, have already gone. There were about two dozen people here, and they put up uh, signs like this one uh, that say "We Matter." Others that say "Arrest Christopher Manny." Of course, the officer uh, in Milwaukee here uh, who shot and killed Don Trey Hamilton in Red Arrow Park seven months ago. They put those. Signs Signs up on the city Christmas tree there behind me, and then uh, went home. They say to uh, watch the ruling come in from Ferguson. One of the organizers uh, was just in Ferguson uh, until last night and told me that uh, he expects uh, that people will really see the parallels between Ferguson and Milwaukee's case. You know, and I think uh, you know the strongest thing we can do now is kind of go back home and start to start connecting the dots. You know, Milwaukee to Ferguson to Atlanta, you know, to Chicago to New York to Ohio, you know, and all of the other cases where, uh, where young black men been killed unjustly and, uh, you know, we've been denied due process of the law. And Milwaukee police did meet with the protesters here. You'll remember that in past protests, they walked through the streets and in cases blocked the traffic. Uh, police did hold things up and ma made sure they made it through the streets safely. But because of the weather, the officers told them here tonight they couldn't guarantee their safety and that they were stretched thin because of all the fender benders and crashes from the weather. Uh, so the group said they decided not to walk through the streets, instead uh, hanging these signs up again in the city Christmas tree and heading home. Reporting live at Red Arrow Park, Nick Ford, WI. ISN 12 News.